section through a root. I know we don't do anatomy yet, not until Friday, but this is the interesting stuff right here. <coughs> yeah, it's uh, the tubercles. The little round green things is uh, either anabina or nostoc. A blue green algae lives in there. Number two is a stem. I know we didn't do anatomy yet, but this is sometimes called nanoxylic because it has lots of soft parenchyma cells and very few wood cells. Here's the wood cell stained red. And so they call it manozyl. So you wouldn't want to build things out of cyclic wood. Not very good. Okay, it would rot quite quickly. Number three, uh, these are the pollen grains. Inside the microsporangia, there's a microsporophyll and lots of mucilage ducts, both here and in ginkgo. A lot of mucilage ducts, you'll see them. Big open spaces, but there's the pollen grains, ready to be shed, little micros and metophytes. And number four is an ovule. So notice how thick the integument is. Airspace, and then this must be nucellus. I pull that up, integument, nucellus, this is female gametophyte. Okay? Uh, I don't see any acting going yet. There we go. Uh, there's, see how big the egg is? Oh my god. Okay? There's a couple of going in with two eggs. And yours might be staying this color. Or it might be very dense like that. Maybe that's after fertilization. All right, number five, all this squiggly stuff is what? Suspensor, right? And it's on a pro-embryo. And there's the tip, the growing pro-embryonic cap, okay? Number six is the mature embryo, it's huge. Notice the mucilage ducts? That's the radical. Okay. All right, now let's get into the gincopita. This is a cross section of a leaf. Notice the mucilage duct? I know we didn't do anatomy yet, but you might see a, a waxy layer on top of the leaf. See the line? Or on the bottom, too. That's called a cuticle. All right, now number eight is the ginkgo stem. It's kind of like pine and flowering plant wood. Uh, this, these are wood cells, tough cells, and so you have very little parenchyma and a lot of wood. That's called pycnoxylic wood, right? So manoxylic is soft stuff, and cycads, everything else is pycnoxylic. Okay, number nine, here's the ginkgo catkin-like thingies, microsporophylls, microsporangia, and what's inside? Pollen grains. Not terrible, a lot of detail to see there. But there they are, the pollen grains ready to be shed, little microgametophytes. Uh, now number 10 is a good slot. Yours might be pink or green. But it's the peduncle and the ovule, and you can actually see the micropile on these slides. One of the few choices or slides you have in the whole course is a micropile. Mucilage duct once again. Or yours might be staying green. See the micropile? There's the opening to the integument. All right, this is very, very light. What the heck is this? Okay, this is number 11. This is the archegonium with the egg uh, smaller than the cycad. See the mucilage duct even in an egg? Okay, mucilage duct. Yours might be stained this color. Maybe it's after fertilization. I don't know why it's stained a different color. And this is uh, definitely number 12. They go through a free nuclear. You might say, well, what do you mean free nuclear? Well, it, it's a pro-embryo, but there are several nuclei without walls. So they call it a, a free nuclear stage. And then, there we go. That's a good one. See all the nuclei? The dark dots are the nucleoli, actually. That's called a free nuclear stage. And then 13 is the young embryo. Ginkgo is dicotyledonous. One, two. There's a stem tip. And we follow it down hypocotyl, and then what's going through the micropile here? The radical, right? Radical, hypocotyl, two cotyledon. There we go. Here might be stained like this. Cotyledon, cotyledon, stem tip, hypo. Cotyledon, cotyledon. Cotyledon, cotyledon. Some young leaves are starting here, huh? Stem tip, hypocotyl. All right, there's a ginkgo tree at the Morton Arboretum. It's kind of washed out here with all this light in this room. 
and you can see the fan-shaped leaves. Okay, we have some over on the front table here too. That's better than that picture. All right, let's get into the Coniferophyta, or as your book says, that's still out of focus. Your book calls it what? The Pinophyta. But I don't care what you call it, as long as you have the common name as what? Conifers. Don't say pines. All right, so this is number 14. This is like about in early May. There's the pollen grains and they got the Mickey Mouse ears. See? See that? So these are microgametophytes. What's another word for microgametophyte? Male gametophyte. What's another word? Pollen. You might see two nuclei in there. A tube nucleus and a generative nucleus. That'll give rise to two sperm.